more advice for her. high school students pursuing their profession in art. As I mentioned in, in other videos, sit down and practice. I'm telling you from my own experience. I probably wasted a lot of time in high school doing algebra 2, trigonometry, calculus, and statistics, you know, AP US history. Although I do believe that it's important to to learn about other subjects, and having learned a lot of that stuff is um, has been helpful um, with me during conversations or understanding today's political system. I was able to, I'm able to weed out propaganda versus actual, actual challenges. <clears throat> what are actual challenges today? And I think I probably would have been better off if, let's say in the 11th grade, I uh, focus more on you know, just a little bit more running and doing a few more push-ups and forgetting my math class and, and don't do stupid stuff like go and say oh I'm gonna go be a be a you know, work as a teacher's aide in someone else's class. Not just take ceramics, take a, take a life drawing class if offered. But don't don't waste your time goofing around with friends or your girlfriend or your boyfriend. That's You know, there, there is the exception to the rule that you'll meet maybe someone awesome in your life, but remember there are billions of people out there in the world that you have not met yet. And people that are just as thirsty and hungry for success as, as you are, for a better world, for a different world, and I don't know one person that, one person that I like about that, that would say, man, I'm so glad that we did those, those football, football games together. To me, that's lightweight stuff. There's, um, you know, when compared, doing a 105 mile hike in the Marine Corps, like I have. Or remember when we uh, used to do track and field, and to me I'm like, track and field, boring. And I've done a, and the LA Marathon was about two weeks of training just to show people that there's a, So much that the mind can achieve as long as you believe that you could do it. You know, and I, I didn't run any track in school, but 
you know, maybe if I would have gotten a job at, let's say, McDonald's, just so I could make money to buy a car sooner, so that I could go see plays, go see, visit different museums, buy different books, you know, do some more push-ups to just remain strong for my health. To um, be prepared in case I'm um, going to the wrong neighborhood and some loser wants to rob you or something, put up a fight, or uh, have some weirdo who really doesn't like your point of view, you know, be, be able, be have the strength and the muscle to defend yourself. Always try, always try to escalate, you know, de-escalate a problem or situation with words. But be prepared to fight. Do your training, do your push-ups, do your sit-ups, your crunches. You know, hit the gym. You can learn some, take some jiu-jitsu classes, but you know, remain focused on, you know, don't put shit into your body, you know, that goes for mentally and physically, so don't hang around with negative people, a bunch of weenies that just want to do nothing with their lives or I myself, I do eat, you know, once in a while that nasty ass, unhealthy, dangerous, McDonald's trash, or some Doritos or some Coke, but I don't I don't make that my, my snack every day. And I, that stuff is bad for your body. It takes away your, um, makes you grumpy or unfocused or not fulfilled and makes your body fat, nasty. So, you know, treat your body good, treat it good. You know, even if you don't love yourself as much as you do someone else whether it's your parents your boyfriend or girlfriend or a teacher or a mentor you know pretend it's their body you know would you put that stuff in their body that junk food maybe today just for the taste but don't don't make it a don't make it into a nasty habit We're not all. I know that. Of course, you're not gonna go to the store and be like, "Hey, you know, I want a steak because it's a steak and some broccoli because it's it's healthier for me than this peanut butter and jelly sandwich here." You gotta go work for it. So, you know, get a job in high school. Go flip burgers. I did it at McDonald's and Burger King. But after a while I'm like, you know, that's cool. That's enough of this washing dishes or other stuff. So you know and save your money. Don't don't buy stupid stuff like uh Just a, a newer smartphone, the new iPod, just because iPhone or Galaxy, just to uh, put stupid apps on it and music and games. Who cares? My phone just has a lot of the basic stuff on there. I don't, I don't think I've added any extra apps. Um, it's my work phone. 
that's how I upload these videos to the world but um, I see so many people just buying stuff man. wasting their time on Facebook on Twitter and other dumb shit like t taking pictures of their what they're eating or who they're with and I'm like me personally, I like keeping that shit private. I don't like anyone knowing where my favorite coffee is at, my favorite burrito, my favorite bakery, my favorite place to go grab a sandwich is at. Who my friends are, that's all private. You know. You're not gonna go ahead and show your ass to the world. Why would you show your personal information? Want for likes, for attention? Are you that much of a weak punk? That you need other people, strangers, to say, Oh, you know what, you're cool. You're a real cool guy. Cool girl, cool chick. And don't be a Kardashian whore. You know? If you want to be like that, go ahead. But when people use you up just because for sex or a one night or for your for your wallet then you deserve to be dumped the next day and not be called or invited for or you know, not being held to a high. a higher position because all you have to offer is gossip and partying. I wouldn't want you on my team. I wouldn't. So. A lot of this stuff, like, care what you post online. Don't post no bullshit on there either bullying people or talking shit or vandalizing or committing crime but don't you know report show your drawings your newest poem to to life to your mentors to your friends you know, you're gonna get teased, you're gonna get, people are gonna doubt you for, um, for stuff like that, because it's different. But that's you, don't, you know, show your character. Your character is different from showing your ass. Don't be a dumbass. Don't do that stuff. The internet does not forget. It's always out there somewhere. In most cases. So. Yeah, sit down and draw. Whenever you can. If you ever feel bored, that means you have time to draw. Alright, so... If you run out of ideas, just go out for a walk. You'll see something on the streets or outside to make you copy or create. 